Hi, welcome to Inside Yachting. This is a full length review of Modi Yacht Chapinav. Now we're doing something a little bit different um, this week. We're doing a virtual tour walkthrough. Now I've done a brochure review of this boat before, um, but now that this virtual tour is available, I wanted to try something a little bit different. So um, give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. Let me know whether uh, this is something that you'd like to see more of on, on other types of boats. And, and we'll try and work this into the uh, weekly videos that we do on Inside of Yachting. Now, if you're on the website, insideofyachting.com, then over on the right hand side, you'll see the Yacht Pack Request button. Click on that. We've got all the uh, specifications, the photographs and the detailed write-ups of this boat, as well as some uh, pricing analysis. Um, if you're on YouTube watching this, then you'll notice down below is the link over to the website. Get yourselves over there as that's where all of the um, information is on the industry in general. You can get some pricing guides and some consumer guides and everything is available at insideryachting.com. So without further ado, let's start this uh, virtual walkthrough of Murder Yacht Chapinav. So I've started it here um, on the aft deck. Now I have the, the mouse in my hand here. I'm going to be clicking my way through. So as I say, it's the first time we're doing this. Um, so bear with us with any technical difficulties. So as you can see, the aft deck here is full teak, teak up to the steps and all of the flybridge is teak as well. Um, Chapinav is a 2012 78 foot azimuth. It has just about every possible upgrade that azimuth offers, as well as some aftermarket upgrades that azimuth don't have on their books, but it really works to make this boat a pretty special um, boat that's, that's actively for sale on the market. Now retail price new of this boat is around $7 million. So Chapinav at uh, 2012 has all of the warranties, actually has full warranties on all machinery through to uh, 2018. I think it's around um, August or September 2018, those warranties are good through. And the asking price on this boat is $3,750,000. So an incredible saving on what's basically a brand new boat. In fact, it's um, you could argue that it's better than a brand new boat because it's gone through all of that um, initial warranty period from Azimut that, that gives you sort of that uh, one year bumper to bumper warranty and you have to sort of work out all of the all the kinks. This has gone through that. They've corrected any mistakes that, that might have come up from the build, which you always get with any boat. Um, so right now with that uh, extended warranty package, which is actually offered from Brunswick, um, this is a, a pretty a pretty compelling deal. So I'm going to click through um, the virtual tour here. Nice built-in U-shaped seating there. Uh, you could easily sit eight people around the table. You can squeeze a couple more chairs in there than, than you see here. Um, side cabinet here is a, a refrigerator drawer there on the left-hand side. There's a um, sort of a wet bar sink area there. The um, steps leading down to the platform lead you down to a huge, in fact, I think it's almost about um, five or four and a half or five feet um, wide hydraulic swim platform. So that enables the tender to be stored down on that lower deck. It actually means that you can store a much larger tender than you would be able to on um, just a standard model that doesn't have that hydraulic swim platform and you'd have to crane it up on the davit up onto the flybridge. When you store it down on that hydraulic swim platform, you can, you can fit a much larger tender. So this has a um, 13 foot wide body AB tender, um, has a brand new 60 horsepower outboard on it. So it's a, a pretty good feature to have on, um, on this size boat. You can see the little red arrows there. We can take a walk around the other areas of the boat, but let's, um, let's take a look and kind of click around here. Let's take a look in the main salon. There we go. So in, um, in Chapinav, the owner opted for the highest interior package that Azimut offered. You have these rich walnut colors with the uh, sort of natural toned leather uh, sofas. It does have a, a large pop-up um, flat screen TV, which comes out of the, the back uh, cabinet there, just behind the couch. Um, I'll stop it here. I don't know whether we can zoom in on that. Yep, there we go. You see there's an iPad there. So all of the AV 
um, and entertainment system is controlled via the iPad. Uh, the boat has Apple TV on it as well. Um, so that is a multimedia storage. So you have all the um, on-demand movies and on-demand music. The other thing that was just behind that iPad there, which was um, this thing right here, that is the ghost security system. Um, so what that enables you to do is remotely monitor the boat. There are several cameras on board. You can actually remote into those cameras and control the cameras from your iPhone. Um, you can also get text messages of um, anyone stepping on the boat. There are motion sensors and things dotted all around the boat. You can also get alarms if the boat leaves the dark or if there's a bilge alarm or if the main engine starts up, you can get all of those notifications on your uh, mobile device. So it's a, a, a pretty major um, upgrade there, uh, not offered um, base model from Azimut for these boats. Uh, walking through into the dining room, it has the wooden um, ash floor here, which is another upgrade down in the salon. This is a cream colored uh, carpet that, that's down and then they have the wood up here in the dining room. So let's go and take a look in the dining room here. Oh. There, we, oh, there we go. <laughs> so this is from the dining room looking back towards the salon area. You can see those huge double glass sliding doors and then you've got port and starboard, these uh, big sections of, of windows that um, cover all of that area. So great natural light that comes through here. LED lighting everywhere on the boat, so it keeps the heat down. It's also a lot less on the power demands of the boat. Uh, the boat does have upgraded generators. In fact, they upgraded both of the generators. So it has two 23 kilowatt uh, colas on board. So power isn't an issue on here. There's no problem with you, you sort of struggling for, for power. Um, keep on turning around, we go into the galley. So it's sort of a European take on the country style kitchen. It doesn't have that full separation like uh, most of the European boats do. The, the European uh, market tends to like a bit more of a service orientated boat where they have um, separation between the crew and the uh, guest spaces. American take is a bit more open and a bit more social, but here you've got a nice split between the two. So it is an open galley. They've got all of the appliances here are all upgraded. So a big stainless steel double door refrigerator freezer there. You have a Miele oven, a full size oven, and then you have the Miele. Um, in fact, I'll zoom in on that here. So this is um, this is the microwave oven here. And then below that is the full size uh, conventional oven. And then over here on the uh, worktop is the hob. So you've actually have a concealed um, dishwasher that's underneath that hob there as well. So all of those countertops here are marble, another upgrade from Azimut. Um, marble countertops run throughout the uh, bathrooms on the tops and also in the, the soles. They have a split between a wood and a, a marble sole in, in the bathrooms. Um, so as I was saying, huge uh, upgrades here. The boat has zero speed stabilizers, has VSAT on board. So that is global satellite based internet um, or data streaming. So you can get uh, through to the internet wherever the boat is globally. And that's on a subscription base. So you can pick and, and choose how much data you want to receive and, and what your sort of send and receive rates are. A satellite TV, each cabin has um, sat receiver and a uh, Xbox 360 as well. So it's great setup for the kids. Um, the accommodation setup is, is one of the better arrangements as well. You have a queen berth up in the Ford VIP, a queen in the uh, master cabin, which is a huge full beam master cabin. Then you have another double, which is to port, and then you have twins on starboard. And a twin cabin has a, a fold down Pullman bed. So that actually has um, occupancy of, of nine people on board the boat. I'm gonna stop this rotation here. This is a, a custom, we're looking at the lower helm here, obviously. This is a custom made helm station. So that's a, a brushed stainless steel finish to the uh, to the fascia board there. It has a hugely upgraded navigation package and they have a full repeat of all of this equipment up 
on the flybridge as well and obviously all waterproof equipment there too so you have full um ais chart plotters radars here they can overlay the ais system onto the chart plotters and as well as the radar so a great integration you can switch and change those screens between um, ships management so you, if you're underway you can see all of the engine readouts the pressures the temperatures um, and you can also switch it through to the cameras as well so you can have great versatility with all of those um, independent screens uh, bow and stern thruster here uh, so it's very very simple for maneuvering we had her in the Fort Lauderdale boat show um, just a, a week or so ago and, and we did a walk through the boat there as well so you can see that on inside the yachting um, boat turns on a dime didn't have any problem if any of you have been to the boat show you can um, you're, you're well uh, versed in, in how tightly they squeeze the boats in there um, and then on this uh, opposite side, you have a nice uh, sort of ship's office and, and chart table area. That whole section lifts up and there's uh, all chart drawers underneath that, that uh, worktop as well. So moving down into the guest cabins here. Um, this is a great area up here. I think we can see it once we're down um, a little ways. Let's try and look up here. Okay, so this area at the top of the stairs, this is all um, sort of uh, windows, all, almost cathedral-esque sort of windows looking in this foyer area. So it gets a huge amount of natural light. You can see that very clearly around here. Um, it's a, a great area for um, flooding light into that sort of galley and, and, uh, and dining area there. So right now, I believe we are in the... Uh, let's try and control this mouse here okay so we're in the uh i can't see where where we are now i think we're in the ford vip cabin there we go vip stateroom over there so this is a, a great cabin it's a very large cabin for the size of boat um you have these huge port and starboard hull side windows that's a actually a great thing to mention about the boat it has an enormous amount of, of windows on the boat and you can see that from the initial profile pictures we'll we'll put some of the um, pictures up on the up on the website so that you can see that so you have these huge hull side windows here you have even larger ones in the master cabin and we'll see that later on um, but a great queen size sort of central island bed let's move around here a little bit faster um, nice uh, wardrobe there same on the other side behind the door here and then looking into the bathroom there you can see there's just a photograph of it um this this sort of walnut and and cream finish runs throughout all of these cabins um underneath all the beds it's worthwhile noting that there's um great storage underneath there they're all on hydraulic uh sort of jacks so that you can lift that up with with one hand very easily uh here is the twin cabin now, each of the four cabins are en suite. They um, all have their, their dedicated head. There is a day head down here, and that's the en suite head that is also used for this twin cabin. So you've got two separate doors going into the bathroom. One is um, accessed from this cabin, and the other is accessed from that walkway. So it's a great um, sort of split usage there for that, for that head. Um, now, this is a twin cabin, as I mentioned. It has that full... Um, size fold down Pullman which is here I'm just pointing that out with the mouse there so it's great to have that this is a good kids cabin um, and putting three of them in here is is quite easy just behind this door here this is the other um, access through to the um, to the head and then you can see here and there's a quick photograph of it but that's the second door that leads to that bathroom from this um, companionway so let's scroll around a little bit more um, on the port side of the boat this is the uh, double cabin so a great size cabin here again it has all this a uh, nice um, walnut finish to the the veneer it has a cream um, ceiling panels and, and a few other leather panels are dotted around this room are also in cream here nice flat screen tvs in all of the cabins as well and then a very similar bathroom to what we see in the other cabins so let's spin around and walk through to the 
our master cabin. Let's go back out into the hallway here and then moving all the way aft there through to the master stateroom. Now this is a, a huge room you can see here. It is full beam. It takes advantage of the widest part of the boat and you have these enormous hull side windows both on port and starboard side. On the port side of the cabin here they've got um, a lot of storage. All of these um, chest of drawers, that nice big 32 inch flat screen TV is on a uh, mechanical arm so it can swing out and, and pan and tilt. And on the other side of the room here, that's going back out to the, um, the walkway or the companionway, on the other side of the room is this um, sort of dining area or little coffee breakfast nook. Um, there is a panic button that's been installed in this room that's linked through to the ghost security system that sends um, out an audible alarm to the uh, remote devices but also sends out an audible alarm to the uh, the rest of the ship so the ship sort of general alarm sounds as well so a nice feature uh, through the back in here we'll just zoom in on that that's a big walk-in closet now the bathroom in this isn't a his and hers they've just op opted for the one um, access through to the bathroom and that's here and we can see the um, the bathroom there. There's a great mosaic um, shower that's in here. You can see that in the um, the brochure walkthrough or the brochure review that we did of the boat. That's also available on the website. But here, a good shot of the marble uh, countertops. There's a marble floor there. You can just about see that in the bottom corner of the uh, of the picture there. So let's move out of the interior and go and take a look up on the sun deck. So let's start forwards. There's another great area of the boat that we haven't seen yet and that's all the way forwards um, just over here and we'll, we'll go and take a look at that. Let me try and uh, zoom us in on that. Having a few uh, user difficulties here, this being the first time. So up there you can see that uh, canopy. That's a nice bath sunbathing area up on the bow. Um, like I say, we'll go and take a look at that a little bit later on. But looking around this area, you can see the um, upper helm station. It's a very thorough um, and well-equipped helm station. The bow stern thrusters, you've got these waterproof uh, Raytheon screens here. Uh, just about the highest possible uh, navigation package that, that Azimut offers on any of their boats. So a great um, integrated bridge here with the rest of the ship. This U-shaped uh, seating area underneath this canopy. Now this is a, a, a fixed uh, bimini top or, or a, a fiberglass hard bimini top that has this retractable section in it. You see a lot of the boats doing that now. Um, a lot of the smaller the smaller azimuts have this option. I think down to the 54 is about the smallest that they offer this type of, of bimini top. So it's a great feature for sun lovers. It's nice to be able to open that up if you're dining out here at night on Anchorage. It's also a great feature to be able to retract that back and have dinner underneath the stars. Or if you like a bit of shade during the day, then, then close that up and this is a, a nice little sort of retreat area here. Now something that is unique to the boat is this bar area here. You won't see this on any other azimuth or certainly not any other uh, 78 azimuth. This is something that the owner himself installed uniquely. Um, the base option from uh, azimuth or what comes with, with all of their boats is, is a small sort of counter area that's hard up against the port side um, fascia board there that, that holds the bimini top up. What he's done here is he's removed that um, and sort of turned it sideways, added a, a split level bar. There are a couple of bar stools on the other side of that. And then now he, what he's able to have is this wet bar area. There's a sink, there's a refrigerator, there's an ice maker, there's much more storage there. So it's actually a, a lot more user friendly than, than it is without that feature. So I'm going to um, stop this from panning and zoom in on there. So this is the other side of the bar here and these are the two uh, bar stools. Now um, as I was mentioning base from asthma is a, a little sort of countertop that that sits over here where I'm where I'm pointing the, the mouse to. I hope you can you can see that on <laughs> on your screen. Um, now originally the boat did come with a jacuzzi. Well they call it a jacuzzi. It 
all of these these little standalone tubs they don't actually heat the water they just aerate the water so i think azimut calls it a um water circulating uh bathtub or, or something like there's some funny name that that azimut gives these things so they don't actually work very well like i say they don't heat the water so you use up an awful lot of power um, heating that water. You use up all of the boat's hot water and dumping it into this uh, jacuzzi that they install. Stays hot for about 20 minutes and then you're left with some, some cold sort of stagnant water. So the owner used it for about uh, two or three months, didn't like it at all, so had it ripped out. And what is ended up with here is a huge deck space area he's installed. This is a... Um, a barbecue grill um, and you have this uh, now enormous open deck space that he's put some deck chairs there you can see over on the other side there's a uh, davit that's still installed there so you can actually put um, some jet, jet skis up here all a smaller a smaller tender if you like um, and then with the the forward space of this he he custom made this um, seating area so you now have a aft face and seating plus the forward face seating with that little um, u-shaped sort of dining area there so it's a great usability that that he's created here for the boat much much better than having that jacuzzi top all of the piping is still there for the jacuzzi so if that's something that you really want there are plenty of um, retailers that sell them in in town here probably about the um, last one that I bought I think was around $6,000 um, and it had the heater, the pumps and everything in there. So the aftermarket ones that you buy are actually a lot better than the ones that you get from uh, base from asthma anyway. So like I say, the, the, all of that piping is still there. You can reinstall that if you like. I d personally, I, I don't think it's a great thing to have on this size boat. I think if you want a jacuzzi like that, then um, you probably should be looking at a, uh, a larger a larger boat. So let's go and take a look at that bow area that I was uh, mentioning earlier on. So that's the sunbathing area here. The bimini top that this has is uh, another upgrade that the owner um, opted from uh, from Azimut. So you have, uh, like you can see, quite a few different areas to this boat that are, that are really quite special and, and end up working really well for for the owner. Um, this area up here has its own um, sound zone so you can play music out here. There are cup holders out here. Um, that bimini top can fold down and you have, I mean it's, it's actually quite a large pad up there. You can easily fit four people on that. Um, and then again uh, looking here you can see it's all teak deck around here so the entire boat is um, teak decks uh, up on the sun deck like we saw up here and, and then on the aft deck now let's go and pop our heads in the engine room unfortunately from here you can't see that um, hydraulic swim platform but it's um, it's out through here this is leading um, where are we scroll around a little bit so it's out here leading back through the crew accommodation and up onto that hydraulic swim platform uh, another thing worthwhile mentioning it does have crew accommodation for two crew so just the other side of that watertight door you do have um two bunks there and then on the opposite side is the uh bathroom you have a full shower there sink and, and toilet so these engines here these are their um man engines these have always been uh, fully maintained under warranty so there's no um any kind of after cooler issues or or, or uh, overheating issues on on these engines they actually went through a, a full um survey just about two months ago to prove that it ran up to speed and, and ran up to rpm and it passed with flying colors uh, these are the 1360 horsepower engines so they'll uh, cruise at around 23 knots maximum speed will be about 29 knots um, and i think currently there's about 780 to 800 hours on them so very low hours on the engines you can see at the back here i'll stop that scrolling now um, this is the one of the generators that's the other generator there so both in there a uh, little soundproof um, casing that the very quiet running generators um, and then what else is in here so they have um, 
some backup pumps for the for the boat so they have backup uh, water pumps backup gray water pumps a backup uh, black water pumps so the redundancy in this boat is is quite amazing the the owner really went into this with sort of a large boat men mentality um and and like i said at, at the beginning this now what you have as an end product is is really something quite quite special so that's it that's all we have for um for chapin Ave and, and the virtual tour uh some of the upgrades and i'll put these up on the the screen here i don't have them in front of me but um zero speed stabilizers that huge um, hydraulic swim platform at the back which is actually great for uh, once the tenders often in the water you can remove those chocks and actually sit the uh, that platform just underneath the water line so you can uh, use it for water sports a great staging kayaking diving it's a great feature to have um, vsat for global data streaming satellite tv you have that apple tv um, system on board zero speed stabilizers I think I've mentioned that already um, the Apple TV is the um, on-demand movies and music uh, TV shows um, what else the ghost system um, really uh, the list of upgrades goes on and on and on I can't recall them off the off the top of my head but request that yacht pack or just email us ask us for the brochure and we'll get that over to you um, like I mentioned at the beginning of the this walkthrough, retail number on this boat is um, almost seven million dollars. So right now, asking three million seven hundred and fifty thousand, she's a great, great value. There really isn't anything else that is um, that is up to par with this that, that's currently on the market, especially not with those. Uh, full warranty packages on all of the machinery on board through till 2018 so um, that's enough for me she is here in Fort Lauderdale very easy to see um, all the information is online here so request some more information take a look at that um, video walkthrough that I did of, of me actually walking through the boat and there's the brochure review as well so thanks for watching um, have a click around the website uh, look for um, the other reviews that we've done on some other similar boats and that'll give you a good comparison as far as what's on the market. So thanks for joining and I'll see you next time.